Hello Enchanted Ones and welcome to the magic of October. Today I will be showing you ideas, DIYs and rituals to use magic that are perfect for autumn and the energy in the air. So sit back, relax and keep on watching. Hello Enchanted Ones and welcome and happy October. I love October so much and I don't know about you guys but it's when my true colours just really shine and stand out and today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of my tips, a couple of my really fun ideas that I love to do throughout October. Some of them are quite witchy some of them are quite spiritual and some of them are very calm and meditative so I hope there is something for all of you guys. I'm going to start with something that I love to do all year round but especially in October and that is glamour magic. Whether you are getting ready for a typical day or a big event, the art of getting ready is a ritual and you can place intention into it. There are so many ways that you can practice it, all the way from brushing your hair to the perfume you wear. And today I am going to be mixing glamour magic with colour magic. I love to choose colours of makeup to magnify an energy and emotion I want for myself. For example, pink can radiate self-love, brown can bring you strength and green can help you heal and grow. But the colour I tend to go for, you guessed it, is orange. It is such a vibrant energetic colour and can bring out inner confidence as it radiates from you and I honestly make myself look like a pumpkin. With every brush stroke I think about the confidence igniting within my stomach and bringing this energy up to my face and awakening. I apply orange to my cheeks and eyelids but also I pat it on top of a light coloured liquid lipstick. It doesn't dry up my lips and works so well just in case you can't find the colour lipstick you are looking for. After this, of course, I need my signature eyeliner. It seems that all across the ancient world, the drawing of a black line under the eyes was of great meaning. The reason for this wasn't just to make eyes look pretty, but to ward off evil and negative spirits and energies. Something you may consider the next time you put eyeliner on. My cat eye makes me feel complete, fierce, and in control. But it doesn't stop there. What about our hair? Brushing your hair can be a mundane experience, but have you ever brushed your hair and received a shock from static energy? There is so much energy in the task, and I truly believe hair holds so much intention and wisdom. Whilst brushing, I finished my glamour spell, this time feeling my inner confidence whilst picturing myself with chin held high and with no cares in the world. So when my hair blows in the wind, the energy will radiate into the atmosphere and my intention will be coming to life. But you don't have to stop at your makeup. I find it a great experience and chance to be able to put your intention into your clothes as well. And I'm going to show you my favourite October outfits.
Unfortunately, today, because it's a little bit miserable outside, I couldn't really wear any of my amazing outfits. So I just stuck with something that was really cozy and comfortable and all black. And really because it was so rainy and windy and kind of horrific outside, even the cat wouldn't go outside, I stayed in and set up for myself a really lovely, cozy afternoon setup. And because these days are really grey, I really love to put on ethereal, like a vampy feel music in the background. It just makes me feel like I'm in twilight, feel like an elegant vampire walking around my house. After I made my home look like a vampire lair, now I could cozy up, listen to the rain, but also watch some autumn films. My favourite of all being The Village. It is so aesthetically beautiful and I cannot recommend it enough. My other favourite autumnal watches are Practical Magic, The Craft, Sleepy Hollow, Crimson Peak, and if you are into DIYs, which I know you are, The Curious Creations of Christine McConnell on Netflix. She is seriously my idol. Halfway through the film, I decided to do a bit of cozy crafting. October is not complete without it, in my opinion. And I've had an idea recently that I've been so excited to try out. And it all starts with a canvas and a crow. Not actually a real crow, but the silhouette of a crow. And I drew this with pencil onto my canvas. And after I captured the figure I was happy with, I painted it with no stress required as this was just to be a silhouette. So all I needed was black paint and one paintbrush. This picture is not really about painting, it's about what stuck onto the painting and yesterday, before it started pouring down with rain, I took a trip into the woods to gather some items for it. I was basically looking for anything autumn, beautiful autumn leaves of all shapes and sizes. anything quirky looking. These fur sticks was just what I was looking for. Those and this dead tree which I love the look of and I had to take some of its curled up leaves. Back to the vampire lair. And now I got out my glue gun and with my foraged items I stuck these onto my picture in the shape of a nest underneath the crow. I built up the shape of the sticks first and then started to add all the other items, the fir cones and then the leaves. This really was not difficult to do and it does not require a lot of skill. I was so happy with the picture and it was the perfect Halloween decoration. All of this working with nature made me miss the outside. However, even though it was still raining, I decided to embrace it. As in damp conditions, there is one thing in autumn that thrives, mushrooms. And this walk was going to be a search for mushrooms, not to eat them or even touch them. I just wanted to find them. I find that looking for mushrooms is really therapeutic. It helps me get onto the frequency of nature and see my surroundings. And once I found one, I saw them everywhere. A 
I love going to different terrains within the wood and seeing what types of mushrooms are there and seeing how they grow. They just fascinate me so much. And of course, my eyes see each one as a little fairy's home. I was so glad I decided to go on my walk, but one thing made the walk even better. And that was knowing that when I arrived home, I was to treat myself to the most healing drink, a magical hot chocolate. Magic can be everywhere and it needn't be elaborate. Even this hot chocolate has healing properties. And if you want to make your first potion, this is a great one to start with. In this, I include cinnamon. Cinnamon is great for protection and our immune systems. You may also consider adding orange. Orange strengthens our solar plexus chakra. So if you were to get extra cold during your walk, your vitamin C levels will be boosted. Stirring with love and warm feelings until it was deliciously melted and warm. It may sound so simple, but that really is magic for you for this drink is offering yourself the biggest gift of all, protection. I love to drink and eat foods for protection, but along with this every year, I make a spell bottle also. I've recently completed a new page in my book of shadows and have written down a list of items all with protection qualities. So today I picked the ones I had on hand to put into the spell jar to protect me all autumn and winter long from negative energy. Once I'd filled the jar with my items, before I sealed it, I placed inside something invisible, but the most important thing of all, my intention. And I picked a chant that best resonated with me. I am powerful, strong, and calm. The goddess protects me from all harm, and I am surrounded by her arms. And as I repeated this phrase, I imagined this intention filling the bottle to the brim and then sealed it with a candle so my intention will be forever within this bottle to take out and about for peace of mind or to even give to a loved one who needs it most. Thank you for watching Enchanted Ones. And please let me know what was your favourite below. I'll see you next time. All my love, Alwyn.